What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and in today's video I'm just checking in to let you all know that I'm back here in Qatar, I'm back teaching, and next week I'll be beginning my educational YouTube videos once again. Woohoo! For those of you who tuned in over the summertime, you may have saw a video I released where I was swimming with over 10,000 stinging jellyfish. And yes, uh, of course there was 10,000. I, uh, I counted them one by one. Oh. Uh, can we move on? Yeah. Releasing this video began to spark major interest in jellyfish all across Ireland. As the video began to spread and circulate, it wasn't long before a few local newspapers from County Donegal began to contact me asking if they could make an article in the newspaper about it or release it on their news website. Of course I was super excited so I immediately agreed and it wasn't long before the story spread on a few local newspapers and websites. After news had reached a few local newspapers and news websites, I was contacted by an independent local radio station called Cool FM, one of the north of Ireland's most listened to radio stations. They asked if they could release the video on their local page, to which I also agreed. Soon after it being released on Cool FM, bigger news companies in Ireland began to contact me, such as the Irish Independent, who asked if they could also release the video on their website. The video had now easily spread across all of Ireland and the next reporter to contact me was actually a reporter from BBC Northern Ireland who had come across the video got in contact with me saying that he had inadvertently discovered all of my other teaching and learning videos. He said it was amazing and didn't want to make a story just about the jellyfish video but instead wanted to make a story about all of the teaching and learning videos I had been making this year. We had a 30 minute long interview over Zoom call where she asked me about all the work I've been doing this year in my educational YouTube videos. Shortly after the interview, BBC released a video dedicated to all of the videos I've been making this year and advertising my YouTube channel. What's up boys and girls, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about Ancient Egypt. I'm going to see if I have what it takes to survive this Stone Age. Join me on our epic adventure and learn how to cook a feast like a viking. What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're going to be learning about the atom. plan was to teach remotely, um, and it just, it just wasn't suiting some children in any way to be learning in that kind of a circumstance. So, uh, Sort of came up with the idea. I had uh, collected footage just from traveling around before, and I thought, well, I could use that skill maybe to uh, try to make videos that are a little bit more engaging for our students. So, uh, sort of making these videos um, as sort of interactive lessons for the children I was teaching remotely, and then I kind of spiral into this. Take a look. <laughs> the amount of jellyfish, literally thousands of jellyfish everywhere. These jellyfish are called compass jellyfish because of the lines that are on their front jellity part. Because of the lines that are on the face of the jellyfish, uh, it kind of looks like a little compass. Big long tentacles that actually can give you a little bit of a nasty sting, but no worse than a nettle sting. Yeah, pretty cool. It's just kind of reflects the way I would teach in the classroom, right? To sort of throw in a joke here and there. And um, like it's all well and good, you know, explaining these topics to the children, but if they can actually get a real feel, for it and experience it for themselves and especially this year parents have got a, a big insight into what kind of goes on in our classrooms and how we actually interact and act with the children they like how uh, we're, we're, we have a little bit of humor and good relationships and uh, at the end of the day that's, that's what they want to see if their children are enjoying it and the children are happy then the parents are also happy by the video that BBC had made for me and I couldn't believe my eyes, but it didn't stop there. After BBC released the video, the news and video began to spread to other countries. A company got in contact with me asking for the rights to the video so that they could share it with other companies across the world. It wasn't long before the video went international and hit America. News agencies in America such as USA Today and ABC News had now also released the video. And just as quick as it spread, the hype began to die down once again. But one week later, I was contacted once again by BBC. This time, it was BBC Learning, inviting me to speak at a rather large online meet for teachers organized by the BBC. This is a virtual teaching meet for many other teachers just like myself 
They want to better themselves in their own professional development. I'm not sure how useful I'm going to be. I've only been teaching for three years and I'm sure there's a lot more teachers out there with plenty more experience than I have. But it's safe to say that I feel privileged and proud to have even been invited and I'm very excited to take part. So what exactly is the point of this video? This video just proves sometimes you just don't know what's around the corner and some of the most seemingly unlikely and small things can cause the biggest impacts. Out of all the videos I've posted, this, one of the most unlikely videos in a small seaside village called Rusnaila in County Donegal actually ended up spreading wonder and awe across the world. A silly video about what are normally notoriously hated creatures, stinging people, washing up on the beach looking disgusting. Jellyfish normally look lifeless but are actually hypnotic and somewhat majestic when viewed underwater in their natural habitat where they belong. So that wraps up our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, please. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting this button down here in the bottom right corner. It's completely free to do so and will ensure that you don't miss out on any other cool and educational videos that I release this year. As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. Be sure to check out some of the other cool and educational videos on my channel, such as the Jelly Kids video itself, where I swim with over 10 thousand stinging jellyfish or why not check out some of my ancient Egypt videos that I filmed while traveling in Egypt the country itself. As always guys thanks so much for watching see you next time.